Now to a story about a South Florida man who is literally a living legend. At 96, Ben Ferenz is the last surviving prosecutor from the Nuremberg trials held after World War II. He saw firsthand the atrocities of the Holocaust and he has devoted his life to working so that it never happens again. We want to warn you this story contains graphic footage from the Holocaust, which may be too disturbing for young kids. We shall establish beyond the realm of doubt facts which before the dark decade of the Third Reich would have seemed incredible. I convicted 22 defendants of murdering over a million people in cold blood. I rested my case in two days and convicted all of them. Never matched that record. Ben Ferenz is absolutely right. You'd be hard pressed to find a bigger legal victory than the one he scored in Nuremberg, Germany. Genocide, the extermination of whole categories of human beings, was a foremost instrument of the Nazi doctrine. He was only 27 years old, a Harvard Law grad turned soldier, plucked from the battlefields and made lead prosecutor in the biggest murder trial in history. How did you get the assignment? <laughs> well, if I gave you a truthful answer, nobody would believe it. A former professor approached by the Army remembered Ferenz from class and urged the military to track him down. They did, and it changed his life forever. The assignment was to get into the camps as soon as they were liberated, collect evidence of the crimes, find out the records, what happened in the camp, who did it, who was responsible. This is what he saw. These were the crimes he would prosecute. Murder on an unimaginable scale. It happened. I was there and I saw it happening. And I'm not the only one, every survivor saw it happening. It's unbelievable, indescribable, inconceivable, but it's true. And I witnessed it and uh, it certainly had a traumatic impact on me. The charges we have brought accuse the defendants of having committed crimes against humanity. Ben Ferenz, lead prosecutor at Nuremberg, remarkably his very first trial. Well, it's amazing to me, though, that you would walk into that courtroom with the weight of the world on your shoulders. Surely you knew the importance I, I of this trial. I feet tall, I shrank down. <laughs> <laughs> Small in stature, but a giant in every other way. Now a part-time South Florida resident, when he's not in Delray Beach, he's traveling the world, teaching, lecturing, lobbying on behalf of his single greatest cause. Death is the only victor in war. And that's the current system. I have a solution, three words, law, not war. And I think the world is co competent, capable of reaching adequate compromises through the rule of law uh, to end this madness to which we are going through all over the world still today. And Ferenz has been preaching compromise over killing for over half a century. And I thought the best thing I can do, my kids had already finished school, been taken care of, uh, what can I do to prevent another Holocaust? And uh, I've been doing that ever since. It's quite a mission. Uh, yeah, keeps me very busy. How do you maintain a sense of hope and optimism? I have no choice. Um, if you're crying on the inside, you better be laughing on the outside. And you better believe it's possible to change. And I do believe it's possible to change. Not quickly, not easily, not immediately. But if you have no hope, then the world is lost. Hope is the engine that drives human endeavor. And it certainly drives Ben Ferenz, who at 96 says he still has a lot of work to do. Not your typical South Florida snowbird. And I feel like isolated here, like some old person who is going out to rest in his, on his laurels in the sunshine. Uh, and that, uh, those people who have earned their rest shall enjoy their rest. I haven't come to that stage yet. Maybe when I get old, I'll feel the same way. <laughs> I asked Ben about his legacy, how he'd like to be remembered. I don't care about my legacy. I care about myself and how knowing that I did the best I could to change things. Uh, and that's all I care about.
and friends. And a thank you to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum who provided us with the archival footage of the concentration camps and also of Ben in action at Nuremberg. And we should mention that Ben Ferenc has just announced he is donating a million dollars to the museum's Center for the Prevention of Genocide, a donation that will renew every year for the next 10 years. Wow, what an incredible and touching story and hard to watch. It is unbelievable that that happened, but so important to, to keep showing those images so that it doesn't happen again. It must have been incredible just to be in his presence. It really was. You know, I've had the privilege of interviewing a lot of very important people over the years. I can't think of anyone, though, more inspiring than the time that I, that Ben, ben Ferenz, and I'm so grateful that I had that time with him. And so sharp and so intelligent and amazing that he's still going around and, you know, giving people these lessons. Really incredible. Great story. Thank you.